There is no way that the Christian faith will be undermined by the power of Islam, ever. Either in the United Kingdom or in any other Western civilization. But can Christian militancy win the war against radical Islam when Christianity itself is quickly fading from the European landscape? A Eurobarometer poll taken in 2010 reveals only 44% of Germans believe in a god. The number of believers in the UK and Belgium are down to 37%, while in Finland, 33%, Denmark, 28%, the Netherlands, 28%, and France, 27%. Only a third or less of their citizens still believe there is a God. Leading the way in European countries abandoning religious belief are Estonia and Sweden, both at an abysmal 18%. Taken together as a whole, only 51% of citizens living in the 28 member nations of the European Union still believe there is a God. Considering these national polling numbers also represent Muslim, Buddhist, and Hindu beliefs, it is clear that belief in a Christian God is no longer the majority view of most Europeans. Uh, why wouldn't Christianity take over? Uh, the simple fact is that Christianity, people are running, away, are running away from Christianity. People are running away from Christianity to Islam. People are taking over, are taking Islam as a way of life. Because it's, because it's the truth, simple. I speak unto thee this day, and I say it is me, the living God, who does give to the sons of men exactly what they need. But I say it is men who seek out their crafty inventions, their imitations, their emulations, that they can indeed have their way. For I say, when men are full of pride, then I say they strive against me. That is, they strive to gain what it is that they do not need, what it is that I have not ordained, and I say they are fools in the same. Now I say this day that I, living God, do not call you to be a fool, but I say that I call you to give thanks to me. And I say that I call you to be made glad that I will uplift, direct, and guide you forth. I say that I call you to be made glad for the privilege to rely upon me, to trust me each day. And I say when you will indeed be humbled enough through repentance to thank me and praise me for the way that I give, the way of my life, my truth, my mercy revealed, then I say that I, the living God, will be pleased in me. But I say when any will grow proud and arrogant, deceived by their own worth, I say they behave as utter fools. Now I say again and again and again in the days of old my people, heart grew proud towards me. That is, they began to regard my way with contempt. They were not pleased to walk in the same. But I say they sought out crafty invention, and I say that the same proved to be destruction unto them. Now I say this day that I, living God, never called you to live in destruction, but I say that I've called you to live in my life. And I say that I've called you to be thankful that I will guide you forth each and every day. And I say that I've called you to be thankful that for me you are purposed in the truth, the light, the strength of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, truth, and mercy revealed. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I, the living God, desire for thee, I say it is the way of my life, my truth, my mercy revealed. And I say it is the way of hope intended for all who trust in me. But I say if you are looking to find your own way, you are looking for the way of a fool. Now I say when you see what it is that has come upon men because of their way, I say they do not prosper in the same. For I say even though they are wise in their own conceit, I say the way they have chosen is the way of fools. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to the way of fools, but I say that I call you to the way of the wise. That is, that you would indeed cleave unto me, believe me, and be brought forth in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who offers to the ones who walk uprightly my covering of mercy over them. But I say, for the ones who depart through their arrogance, their pride, their vain conceit, where do they go? I say, they go in the way that will invite my wrath to them. And I say it is because they have refused to be submitted unto me. Now I say if you consider that it is me, the living God, who made all men, who made all women, and I say that I purpose them to serve me. But I say when men and women grew proud, defiant, and arrogant, and full of their own understanding, what did they do? I say they took themselves in the corruption, the wickedness, the vanity of their own way. And I say in the same, I say they grew lame towards me. That is, they no longer sought to please me, nor to walk uprightly in me, for I say they wanted merely what it was that they esteemed they were worthy to receive. And I say they were no longer thankful for my mercy, my truth, and my light upon the path. 
But I say they went in a way that was foolish, a way that was corrupt, and a way that was vile. And I say in so choosing, they are the ones who are losing in me. That is, they are losing the life, the truth, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to lose out with me, but I say that I call you to be guided by me. And I say that I call you to know that I am the one who will direct you each day. That is, I will direct, correct, and instruct you in the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. And I say that I will bring you forth that you can indeed be kept each day by me. Now I say this day, be thankful that I, the living God, do offer the way that is life and truth. And I say that the humble, the repentant, will remain in the same. And I say when I give the call to all men to repent, I say it is because they are needy of humbling themselves unto me. But I say when men will hear that call, refuse the call, and go on in their own stubborn, proud ways, where do they end? I say they end in destitution, they end in despair, and they end far from me. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to end far from me, but I say that I call you to come forth each day. That is, in the way of my mercy, my truth, my life, and my hope revealed. For I say it is indeed a blessed thing to be brought forth by me, to be ever strengthened, directed, and guided in life. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will look unto, that you will believe, that you will trust and serve. And let it be me who guides you forth in that which I give you time and again. For I say, when I purpose my way, my plan, my provision for my own, I say that I am abundant unto them. But I say, when men will resent, resist my way, rebel against the same, and think they do better for themselves, what do they do? I say they take themselves out of the way of life into the way of death by their resentment towards me, and by the very fact that they resist the very loving kindness of who I am not ever satisfied in me. I say this day let it be me that you will believe, trust, and obey, and let it be me who will purpose you that you can indeed be uplifted, strengthened, and brought forth by me. Now I say this day, when you look upon the way that is set before thee, when you look upon the way that is truth and light, I say, be made glad each day to be serving me. And I say, be made glad that I am the one who will ever direct you in the way that I provide. For I say that I do provide tender mercy, I do provide loving kindness in the way of my life. And I say that I give to you all that you need as you continue trusting, believing, and looking to me. I say this day that I, the living God, do look at the condition that men are in in these times, and I say it is because they have wanted their way. But I say they are so dull, so dumb, so stupid, for in departure from me they merely gain the way of demons. I say while they are so arrogant in their conceit and think they know so much more than they know, I say they are literally overwhelmed by workers of darkness and iniquity, and likewise brought low. That is, they are brought under cruel bondage, they are brought under fear, they are brought under oppression day after day. And I say, while they think they have the ball in their park, they can do as they please when they please, and still somehow they will remain in ruling power, no, they are deceived. For I say, their very power is already taken from them, and I say, inwardly they quake in fear. For I say they have come under the demonic rule of terrorization, and I say they will remain in the same. And I say it is because apart from me they have no strength, nor shall they prevail. I say this day you do not need to end in such a wretched state as many are in, because they did not continue steadfast in me. But I say, I say they gave themselves over to other gods, other lovers, and oh how wise they imagined themselves to be. But I say that the truth of it is they repeated the sins and transgressions of my people of old. And I say while they are strutting and boasting in their independence from me, they are ruled by demons. Now I say when you consider the cruelty of demons, the oppression and the fear that accompanies demonic power, the terrorization of the same, why would you want to be ruled by demons? I say it is because when men grow proud and short-sighted, independent and arrogant, then I say they go in a way that is far from me. And I say they are indeed overwhelmed because they have chosen other gods. That is, they have chosen iniquity, darkness, evil on every hand. And I say they have chosen to be estranged from me because they wanted their own way. 
I say this day that I do live in God, do not call you to your own way, but I call you to my way. That is the way of truth and light and mercy revealed. And I say that I call you to be thankful that I purpose, direct, and guide you forth. And I call you to be thankful that I have intended that you would abide in me. For I say it is me that will be God who is righteousness and truth. It is me that will be God who is mercy and strength and the hope intended day after day. But I say for the ones who rebel to go in the way of hell, that is exactly what they will receive. For I say when a man does not want to be ruled by me, he will be ruled by darkness. For I say when men in their own proud, contemptuous ways towards me imagine they are far above my way, it is not true. For I say they are in the way that is damnation of their souls. I say this day there is no other way that men are redeemed except through me. And I say that the ones who are wise will accept my way and come forth in the same. But I say that the ones who are fools will go in a way that I did not intend nor provide. And I say that that way will prove to be destruction unto them. I say this day do not go in destruction, but I say come forth in the life, the truth, the mercy of who I am. And I say be made glad that through me you are purposed each day. I say be made glad that through me you are given the light upon the path. And I say you are directed in that which is my truth day after day. I say it is a privilege to walk in truth, to believe in truth, and be brought forth in truth. For I say it is a truth that shall set you free, it is a truth that will cause you to rejoice each day in my way. But I say if you are choosing to be losing by going in a way that is far from me, you are choosing death. And I say that the same will prove to be destruction of soul. I say this day that I live in God do call my people to be thankful each day to continue to live in repentance and thanksgiving unto me. And I say that I call my people to know that it is me who is able to keep them day after day. For I say when you will be believing, trusting, and looking unto me, of course you are directed in life. And I say when you will be believing and looking to me as the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end, then yes, you are guided by me. That is, in the newness of life, the truth, the strength, and the mercy, day by day. I say, this day do not be bound as the foolish who have chosen other gods. Do not be bound as the foolish who have strayed from my way. But I say, be as the wise who have chosen that which is life and truth and mercy revealed. And I say, be as the ones who adhere to me, believe upon me, and come forth each day. For I say, there is nothing but ugliness awaiting the ones who depart my way to go another way. But I say, there is mercy awaiting the ones who walk uprightly in me. Therefore I say, continue in repentance, continuing to call others to repent. For I say that the same is the way of life. And I say, be glad even this day that I am the one who guides you forth. I say, be made glad even this day that I am the one who gives you the truth each day. For I say, when you walk in the truth, you are guided in light, you are continuing in mercy, and you will be found in hope. But I say, the ones who depart from the light to take up the way of futility and despair, to take up the hopelessness that men are in, I say, they take in death. I say, this day that I the living God do not call you to shuffle through life among the dead, but I say that I call you to come forth in the way of the living day by day, that is, by adhering unto me, believing and trusting in me, for I am the I am God. And I say it is me who is able, it is me who is mercy and truth. I say thank me, praise me, thank me, praise me. Mm. What would happen if you were to walk through the streets here? Well, I was walking the streets, I'll get back. Well, I tried to walk my the other, I wouldn't get Psalm 2. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Psalm 94. Understand, O dullest of the people. Fools, when will you be wise? Proverbs 8. And now, O sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise, and do not neglect it. Proverbs 23. Let not your heart envy sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all the day. Surely there is a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Hear my son, and be wise, and direct your heart in the way. Romans 12.
Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Watch how many of them now turn up. Watch. Watch how many of them now turn up. Chapter 16. For your obedience is known to all so that I rejoice over you. But I want you to be wise as to what is good and innocent as to what is past, the Battle of Britain, Britain withstood deadly attacks from the Nazis and generations prior to the Spanish Armada. Now it faces an assault from the enemies within. Political correctness and multi...